people. Officially, guys, we have um, Mr. OP here from the team at Arabian Doge uh, project here. As I mentioned, community has been at the front and center here for the growth that the project has seen since the launch that they had back on April the 7th. They launched around 200K starting cap. So right now they're sitting just under 4 million in about a nine day span. So obviously really exciting to see the growth on a chart perspective. You know me, I'm not normally a chart guy, so I will, you know, I, my old saying, give credit where credit is due in the early stages. And like you said, you guys have built up a floor of people who believe in the project and been able to diamond hand it to this point. And it's, you know, it's nice to see, and we're really hoping here, like I mentioned that the point of the AMA is to understand a little bit about how you've been able to successfully build up such a strong community in less than nine days. And then what you guys are planning from those real life NFT utilities, all the way to some of the other benefits to holders down the line of Arabian Doge. So I'm excited. I mean, this is a big community. It's been a, an exciting project. You guys have pushed a trend in the space. I mean, I know a lot of the... Yeah, yeah, there's a plays. huge trend <laughs> now going on, yeah. Yeah, I know a lot of the lower cap plays are coming in on that uh, that space. And, you know, I, I said it in my earlier AMA when I was giving everybody a bit of a teaser into the project here is you'll typically see a few projects capitalize on that trend. They're often those who kind of correlate to the major meme coins of, of times past. And you guys were obviously able to kind of asphyxiate yourself as one of those uh, major players. And the fact that you're offering actual rewards in Doge is exciting. It's hopefully going to be able to bridge the gap. And with Doge doing so many exciting things in the space, um, kind of trying to push back and find their ground floor. I know Elon obviously being the focal focal point there with some of the news around him, it's kind of re reignited some hype there too. So yeah, it's a good combination of things and it's never, never bad that never a bad thing, sorry, to be a trendsetter. Right. So I'm going to yeah, throw it over yeah. to you to kind of introduce yourself and how you came up with this one, but excited to be able to talk to you and engage with the community throughout. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so hello everyone. Uh, my name is Mr. OP. I am from Dubai, from the United Arab Emirates. Um, I started this project as my passion. Uh, so Arabian Doge, uh, Arabian Doge is a hyper deflationary meme utility token. Um, it, it rewards its holders with, with Doge. So just by holding, believing and supporting the project, you automatically earn Dogecoin. So wh why did we create this project or why, why this idea happened that we actually created this project? So us, me and the team, we have seen um, the market opportunity and the engagement that meme coins bring. But also we saw that all of these coins, they have some serious problems. They are either fully separate from the rest of the crypto sector or they have completely different audiences, you know. Um, so therefore, me and the team, we have decided to build this project. We have decided to create this project that would connect the meme-driven community to the more serious crypto investor community. So it's not just a meme token, you know, it's a meme token with with a real utility, with a real, real, real life use case. So we, we, we make sure we are doing all that while guaranteeing full de decentralization. This was also done by implementing a redist redistribution system where each of the 2% transaction will be dis redistributed to the holder as Dogecoins. So th this is as a reward, as a passive income for people who are going to hold, going to diamond hand while we achieve uh, such utilities. I think we have we have a very unique utilities that actually never hit uh, these projects. Uh, they are very unique. It's it's a first time uh, to introduce these utilities to such investors. Um, so let me talk about our our some of our utilities. So, as you know, we are going to launch uh, 1,000 NFTs. Uh, these NFTs will be unique. These NFTs will be 3D. They will be high quality. They are going to be blue chip NFTs. The design and the artwork on these NFTs, no one has ever seen or done something like that. They are going to be really a blast. Um, so what these NFTs are going to do, th this NFT, it will give you access to the Arabian Ventures Club. The Arabian Ventures Club, it is um, the Arab Arabian Ventures Club. It is a club where we are going to invest in the leaders building the open economy. 
So investors will have a chance to gain private and seed sales for top-notch projects. So for example, people are wondering like, how do people get a private sale or seed sale in, for example, Solana or, or any other big project or Avalanche. So this Arabian Venture Club is going to give the chance for investors to get in such high quality projects in, in seed sales or private sale rounds. Um, as well as these NFTs, they are going to give access to real life utilities. For example, they are going to give access, uh, uh, exclusive access and discounts to hotels, to restaurants, to sports societies. Uh, all of this is going to be started in Dubai. And actually we already have our first partnership with a sports society that will accept our NFTs uh, to give discount or, or access to, to, to our holders in the NFT. Uh, I'll get more, I'll, I'll talk more about that, but we are also building our own marketplace. It is an innovative marketplace that is slick, that is secure, where people will be able to sell and trade their NFTs. It's not just going to be focused on Arabian Doge NFTs. Everyone will be able to list their NFTs and sell and contribute. So it's, it's going to be an open market. So think of OpenSea, but for the Binance market. So think of, yeah, think of OpenSea, but for the Binance smart chain. And not only that, we are going to move and uh, evolve it into a multi-chain network. So there will, there will be different chains you can, you can uh, swipe through, through that. Um, Have you guys ever thought about looking into any partnerships with um, different previously established like meme-based projects that have kind of added some utility in the space to, to give you guys a bit of a leg up and kind of draw from some of those additional communities that have already been well established and kind of have kind of similar mentality in terms of diamond handing uh, within the space. It's obviously a little bit more difficult to navigate uh, in the meme, meme coin sector. Um, yes, actually we are constantly looking for, for partnerships, but you know, we, we don't want to do any, any random partnerships. We make sure it is the right partnership. It is a partnership that will benefit us and it will benefit them as well so so for that we have to study um as well i have a, i have a meeting with a saudi arabian businessman in the upcoming days uh, he has a big capital he has a big following base um, and I, I, hopefully i will be be able to to close this deal with with them and i think uh, this is actually going to 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 really cause a big form on all of the Arabian countries. But I, I also want to say that we are not only focusing on Arabian countries, Arabian Dodges worldwide, we are going to hit marketing all over the world. Even the real life NFT utilities, they are just going to be starting in Dubai. It's just a start, it will be expanding all over the world. Like I said, this is not just a random meme token, it's a meme utility token. Um, the brand is well researched, the brand we already have the plans to spread this brand like fire everywhere. So let me tell you something. Um, like around a few, a few six or seven months ago, um, here in, in the newspapers in, in Dubai and United Arab Emirates, there was a there was a post in the newspapers about Dogecoin. So literally the next day, everyone was asking about this coin. What is Dogecoin? How do I, how do I get it? My, even my relatives, my family, my close friends, everyone was asking about it. So you can see how th these kind of news they spread like like fire. So imagine when it, when when it's going to be when these newspapers are going to actually talk about Arabian Doge, having this brand with connecting Arabian with Doge. Imagine if it's uh, being written about in the newspaper. What's going to happen? I I want to also include that I do have the access to get this all over the newspapers in Dubai, I do have the influence, I do have the connection with a lot of VCs that we still haven't connected with. Um, I told my community that we are still looking for a floor, we are still looking to to, to build a strong community before init initiating any any sort of thing like that. Um, so yeah, Ara it's Arabian Doge is actually, it's, 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 it's a long-term uh, hold, it's a long-term uh, project. So that is why we have included this, this passive income for all the investors to invest safely, to invest comfortably, to gain these, uh, to gain these uh, passive income, as well as we are going to add the Ventures Club, which is actually going to be really huge. People still do not understand how huge this thing can be. This is going to 
be really huge for the investors. It will give them a chance to make a lot of money. This is why we are named Arabian Doge. This is why this Doge is drinking oil instead of water every day. So it's not, I'm telling you, it's not like any other project. This project is actually going to blow up like insane. You know, this is just the start. Three million is nothing. I'm not cared about this chart. I'll, I'll keep delivering these things. I still have a lot of meetings to do in Dubai. I still have a lot of VCs to connect with. Um, like I said, I do have these connections. I do have this this ability to to make such things uh, happen. So I think we are still early in Arabian Doge. This market cap is actually nothing. Um, yeah. I like it. Positivity. Power, power of positivity. So... Uh, an intriguing question for you guys. I mean, looking at your roadmap, you guys have checked off. You know, you're closing in on the 2.5K holders. You guys passed that $2 million market cap. So that's really exciting for the community because what have you guys been discussing so far for your first charity donation? Um, the, the charity donation, actually, it's going to be chosen by the community as sort of a vote governance. Um that is actually, I forget to mention that we are also launching an Arabian DAO. So it's sort of a whole ecosystem. Like I said, it's not just a meme uh, token. It's it's a whole ecosystem that will have many, many utilities implemented. And uh, about the charity, like I said, yes, it's going to be voted by the community. Um, the, the community will, will decide to choose where this charity is actually going to happen. Um, as well as uh, I, I'm going to say that um, uh, over the weekend, actually, the NFTs will be able to be previewed. The NFTs will, will be launched after that soon. The Arabian Venture Club will be launched. We, we, we have prepared a very, very big marketing campaign targeting Doggy Day in 420. We have a lot of influencers, a lot of YouTubers. They are, they are not those low tier youtubers they are well researched youtubers we made sure that they are they are the one to 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 let them join the arabian doge team or act as an influencer as as ambassadors we are also going to announce a lot of ambassadors who are coming and joining this arabian doge um as well as i would like to say something i really don't want to mention it right now i'm not going to say what it is but there is a slight possibility that this project is going to be backed by the government of uh, Dubai. This is still not official, so don't take my word on it, but th this is a very high possibility that something like this will happen. Okay, terrific. Um, yeah, like for me, that uh, that that's always a good thing. I've seen it with a couple other projects recently that have done uh, some charitable donations and it's really showing the community that like like you said that the delivery is so key in this space especially at a lower cap uh, because you're having to build that trust from the ground floor up and once you show that trust and the community can get behind it newer people who enter I think get a little bit more pulled in and, and gravitate towards those projects I've seen it like I said successfully utilized a few times recently around the space so it'll be exciting to see what the community decides on for that. Yes, exactly. That is very important. That is exactly why I haven't I haven't started pushing this as much um, in Dubai right now because we, we 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 want to have some utilities to already be already be presentable before doing that move. Um, also, to to add up on that, like we have a lot of listings on exchanges that are already done but i am still waiting to at least deliver some of the utilities before introducing that to to sort of uh, act as a backbone of the project we just don't want to to spread it around already just as a meme token we want people to know that it's a that it's a meme utility token so that's why we, we are we are connecting the both 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 sides of, of communities the meme lovers um the series crypto investors so i think uh, I think yeah, that's why I, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I don't like to to like talk uh, talk much. I like to just uh, deliver. So that's why we we, we will be hitting uh, all of the markets very hard once we deliver these uh, unit utilities. Of course, that's very very important. 
within your NFT collection. So we'll kind of focus on those uh, utility that you have in the first, or I guess second phase, but the phase that you're looking to complete right now. So your NFTs, your DAO, and your Arabian Ventures, you've touched on a little bit of that already, but why don't we jump into the NFTs specifically and how they will, um, like you mentioned, kind of competing with an open C on a BSC side. So how will the NFTs benefit the holders, like from a revenue split percentage? And then will those NFTs, what's that real world utility that you touched on going to be? All right. So, so these NFTs, you know, they, they're going to have royalties. For example, there's going to be a 10% royalty. Half of that is, is going to be used to buy Arabian Doge and Burnet. So that will, will actually give benefits uh, to the holders as well to the investors. Um, as well as, like I mentioned, they, it is going to give access to the Arabian Ventures. The Arabian Ventures is like uh, people really don't understand how this thing works. or It is really undervalued right now. But the Arabian Ventures is actually going to give a chance to these investors to, to invest in high quality projects, to invest in top notch projects, to be able to invest in those really, really early on, like in the private sale rounds or, 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 the, or the seed sale rounds, you know um as well as these nfts they will be used as a real life utilities like i mentioned in dubai that they are going to give access they are going to give discounts to restaurants to hotels to sports societies there will be an uh, there will be an app with an nft scanner um so when you go to these places you're going to use these nfts as 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 as, as a ticket you know um so like I said, yeah, the, the royalties of the NFTs, it will be used to buy back Arabian Doge and Vermit. Uh, I think by focusing on these NFTs as a blue chip NFT, um, it's going to really, really give uh, a boost and attraction to, to Arabian Doge and the communities. As well as we have a, we have a VIP club um, that is required for you to hold 30 million Arabian Doge. We already have them in a group. They are interested in the ventures and the DAO. We have around 40 whales right now who are diamond holding the project. Uh, these people are going to get all the priorities to be fl fl flown out to Dubai in our expense. Um, there will be a lot of events happening. There will be events in Yacht. There will be events in Palm Jumeirah. There will be, there will be a lot of things uh, coming. Those, those NFT holders are going to, to get a lot of benefits. It's not just the VIP club or the whales. The NFT holders also will be randomly uh, given tickets to fly out to Dubai. So I think that's uh, one of the benefits alongside with the Arabian Ventures, alongside with the Arabian DAO, alongside with the real world utilities. So I think there are a lot of benefits that will include um, the NFT. So, and like I said, they are not normal NFTs. I assure you that you no one ever have seen the artwork of these NFTs. They are 3D, they are high quality. They are, they are, they're going to be a blast. I'm, I'm, I'm very sure. I had a look at them and I was amazed myself. So I think they, they, they're going to push a trend. So just like the, the Arabian trend now that's happening because of our project, I think those NFTs will push a trend in the NFT world as well. So I, I, I'm pretty confident in that. And I'm very, very confident with my team to achieve uh, this. Amazing, man. So um, <clears throat> let's look at uh, a little bit in terms of the community. What, uh, when are you guys looking to go and get that vote started for the community, or uh, sorry, for the charity donation? Uh, I know you guys just have kind of surpassed those milestones in the last 24 hours or so. So I know obviously time is needed to kind of get the, the back end done, but when are you expecting to kind of have the discussion started and the vote go for the charity donation? So for the, as far as the charity donation, uh, it is in phase two. Um, it is going to be around after the, uh, collect, the NFT collection launch, because that's when we are going to release the, the Venture Club. That's when we will give people access to join the Arabian DAO. Um, and after that, it will be started, yeah, of course. So it, it, it's, it's not going to be a really long time. It's, it's like in a two weeks time frame or so. The NFTs are going to be launched um, around the, this weekend. We, we are going to have announcements about that. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think, I think uh, right after the NFT collection launch, once the people 
join the adventures club once the people join the arabian da we're going to to start out the governance start out the voting phase and uh, wrap up phase two phase two hopefully so uh, an interesting question obviously for everybody here who's maybe looking to get involved in that process what's the requirement of tokens needed to be held in order to participate in the governance process there Um, there, there, there won't be any any requirements for tokens to to participate in the DAO. If you have the NFT, if you are a holder in, of the NFT, you are you are you are eligible to participate. Okay. As far, but, yeah, um, as, far as yeah, go go on. More, I was going to say just more so for the um, charity part, because obviously the NFTs aren't going to be out, and you guys have already surpassed that two million milestone that's touched on for phase two for the charity donation. So. For maybe this first vote, this first charity donation that occurs before the NFTs are purchased and the DAO is created, how are you going to utilize the community or um, ensure that people are actually holding the token to get a vote? Yes, so we're going to have like a voting power. The voting power it is dependent on the percent of tokens or the, the dependent on the amount of of uh, tokens you have uh, there will be a system that will automatically could calculate the voting power of each holder so that will be determined uh, once once the DAO is, is launched so it, it's going to be determined on the percentage of the tokens so whoever has more tokens has more voting power and so on the, the calculations are going to be to be made Okay, perfect. So thank you. I was just curious about that just as like more of an interim solution until the DAO is formed. Um, and then moving forward on to like phase three, you guys have a lot in there for more of a exchange listings, partnership, sponsorship, marketing standpoint. So that's obviously a very important point. Once you guys have some of that utility and those key pieces established, you want to get the messaging out there around that. So through the marketing, obviously you mentioned you have some connections, but through the marketing, where do you really see yourself being able to pull in people from outside of crypto to jump in? Because that's how all these major meme coins have really grown in the past. It's not so much yeah. crypto you just yeah. buying in, yeah. like, yeah, maybe at the start it is, but over time, the sustainability has to be grown from the outside in. So how do you guys focus on that? Yep, yep, yep. That's actually really important. And uh, so what I'm working on, I'm, I'm going to tell you some of the ideas. So um, the, the, the coin is, uh, you, you know, these, those Snapchat influencers with, with the star. Um, uh, I have a few Snapchat influencers, influencers with stars who have millions of views here in Dubai that have never, ever talked about crypto. And for the first time, they are going to talk about Arabian Doge. It is going to be highlighted to millions and millions. You know, there are many, many Arab influencers here in Dubai who has many, many views. I'm sure everyone knows about those Snapchat influencers and how they, they do things for, for, uh, for, for publicity and such. So I want to highlight that the current Snapchat influencers here in Dubai, there's not one influencer that have ever talked about crypto, not even Bitcoin, not even Dogecoin, nothing. They will be posting about Arabian Doge for the first time ever. And you can imagine how it's, how it's going to spread just by the name, just by the brand. That is just maybe 2% of our marketing plan. We're also aiming to, to hit the market on all of the sides. We have a lot of YouTubers who are going to post throughout the weeks and they are not just weak YouTubers. We're going to have AMAs all over the biggest groups. We're going to have Twitter spaces all over the influencers. We're going to have uh, a lot. We, we are focusing a lot in spreading the the, the news of of, uh, of Arabian Doge and how, how th th this project is going to be utilized. Uh, I think we have a really, really strong community. So in terms of community-wise, I don't, I don't have to worry about that. Like, I'm so proud about the community. I haven't seen any community as strong as Arabian Doge um we have we have also paid for a lot of press re releases that are going to to go out through this week they're already paid there are a lot of big websites 
or we got we got Yahoo, we got Insider Watch, we got Market Watch, we got Nasdaq coming soon. They're all going to be talking about Arabian Doge. This will boost the SEO in Google. This is going to boost a lot of exposure in the long term for Arabian Doge. So I, I want people to know that this project is not just a short term hold, it's not a pump and dump project. This project actually is going to be worked on on all of the sides, on all of the aspects. There is not going to be any aspect that is left out in in, in terms of building building or marketing the the uh, the token, as well as I want to add that there will be billboards purchased in Dubai. There will be billboards purchased worldwide. Uh, we are going to purchase. Uh, we are going to rent Lambos. We are going to paint them with Arabian Doge. We are going to be driving all over Dubai uh, for straight for a straight week. We are going to do that. Um, we are going to have billboards around Dubai Mall, uh, around Burj Khalifa. We are going to have billboards in New York. We are going to have billboards all around the world. These marketing campaign are are being uh, researched, are being planned. They are going to be to be hit at once very hard. Uh, our first big marketing ca campaign is going to happen on Doggy Day on for 20 Day. If anybody knows about that, we are launching a huge marketing campaign with the help of a PR agency, with a very known PR agency here based in Dubai. Uh, we are going to just strike out everywhere. And I, wa I want to also include that we are going to be releasing our merchandise uh, store. Uh, people will be able to buy cool hats. Uh, uh, that has Arabian Doge log logos, shirts, pants, um, hoodies, you know, pencils. There, there's a lot going to come. Like this ecosystem, is <clears throat> this ecosystem has just started. We are only one week in. Uh, everyone can see how strong this community. Everyone can see how diamond-handed these communities. Like I said, <clears throat> we have a VIP club. Uh, people who have a 30 million Arabian Doge can uh, can join this club. All of those whales believe in this project. All of those whales are going to continue hold, hold the hold this uh, floor. We have a baby Doge millionaire uh, already as our top whale. He's just going to keep sweeping the floor till we achieve everything. Because people here know, people here know that I am able to achieve such things, and uh, I am going to deli deliver this. And for me personally, I'm not going to rest until at least 100 million market cap. And I can assure you that I can achieve this because I I, I haven't started anything yet in, in, in Dubai. So, like I have a lot of relatives. I have I have people in the the royal family in Dubai. I, I have connections in Saudi Arabia. I still haven't presented nothing. I'm still waiting for for the for the floor. I'm still waiting for uh, the community to adapt to that. Um, I, I, I won't say I haven't started anything yet. Actually, I have a meeting with a Saudi businessman, like I, I mentioned before. Uh, this guy has a lot of capital. This guy is really important. He has a lot of followers. He has over 50,000 people all around the world uh, following his steps. Um, he's really, really, really interested in his project. I've been chatting with him in WhatsApp every day. He has a big interest in, in, in this project. He has a big interest in the utilities we are going to, to present. Um, we also have a lot of celebrities in mind, but you know, at, at the early early stages, like me as an investor, I know how this project works. I know how these uh, projects, uh, I know how these projects pump. So, in my perspective, I know when to hit these uh, celebrities. I know when to hit these these kind of marketing, uh, and I really appreciate the strong community. They are they are they are standing behind the brand. They are standing behind the Arabian Doge. They have been. Support, supportive. I have never seen any community like that. The last time I saw a community like that, it was um, maybe Baby Doge or or, or Fluky. So I'm, I'm really confident in the community and everyone should, everyone who has been in the first day knows that I keep delivering, that I, that, I, that my main focus, uh, like I said, this project is my passion. It's not just a project that I decided to create this project. I have been thinking about months and months and months before I even started this. I, 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 I did a lot of connections before I even started. I mentioned it to a, a lot of people, a lot of people who are interested uh, in such kind of uh, project. So I think we are still very early. Uh, yeah, so there, there's, there's a lot of a lot of things coming. So just uh, stay tuned for that. And I'm sure the NFTs are going to blow up uh, 
a lot of people's mind because it, it actually blowed up uh, my own mind, you know, when I saw that. And once the Arabian Venture Club is going to, to launch, that, that alone could cause a big form everywhere and big attention to, to Arabian Doge, to the community, to the tokens of Arabian Doge. Like, like I said, people, people don't really know how these Arabian Ventures Club work, but every investor in the Arabian Venture Club is assured, is guaranteed to make pro a profit because they are going to be investing in the private and seed uh, rounds. The projects won't be meme tokens, won't be tokens that are just pumping up. They will be high quality projects they will be top-notch projects they will be carefully researched and all the investors will be able to invest in the private and sale round so you know for for people people for the first time will be able to do that you know because everyone is just wondering how how do these uh, these people uh, get into seed sale into round sales so mainly you know it's, it's just the big names it's just the big influencers who gets a chance to invest in very very early in high 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 projects but arabian doge will allow all of the investors will allow, will allow all of the people who are holding the nft to invest in all of the top quality projects so i think this this is uh, this is alone in its case is going to to produce uh, some sort of formal some sort of uh, trend as well so i'm i i really have uh, a great vision for this and i appreciate the community standing behind they just keep me motivated they just keep keep the team motivated uh, we are soon going to be opening our own office here in dubai that is just going to be working uh, around the arabian doge so you can see this this uh, this vis vision is not just uh, for a few million market cap this is actually going to be a real ecosystem um yeah so I'm 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 just really excited because the, this is going to be really really different. Amazing. So for me, there's just a few things obviously to look at the project, and it's like more so just about obviously the space and the way the space has been um, lately. Is there's a lot of mistrust in the space, so. You, you obviously have some pretty big plans. You, you touch on some of those connections that you have, but on the back end, a lot of people will be like, well, there, there is no audit, the contract's renounced, and you have some pretty big plans for the future of the project. So with a couple there of those- There is an audit. Oh yeah, with, sorry, with contract wolf. I just wasn't able to find it on the website. Yeah, there is an audit and the contract will be renounced, but it's not going to be renounced yet because this is not, uh, any any project so we have to make sure everything is ready everything is safe before announcing it and as far as the safety i am uh, kyc to travlad i am kyc to pink sale i'm kyc to phoenix holdings i am actually meeting travlad here in dubai as well so all, all of these things are going to be to be verified the liquidity is locked my identity is on the line Everyone knows Dubai does not mess with any people who run projects or who do anything illegal. So, and like I said, I'm a local here, so it's it's really easy to to for me to get into trouble if something bad happens to projects. So I want to assure everyone, this is not like your typical typical project. This is the this is like the most safest project you'll be able to invest. This is like the the best passive income you're going to 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 get. And while we keep building, I assure you. This is one of the safest projects projects in, in, in the whole market. And with time, um, everyone is going to see that. Uh, also, our aim is to revive the Binance Smart Chain. As, as we see, the trend went to, to grow, but uh, we tried to, even before I started the project, I told Caesar, I told Trevdo, I told all of the inf influencers that this project is going to bring back the trend and bring back the life to the Binance Smart, Smart Chain uh, uh, trend. Uh, to, and once again, we, we are going to get the trust back into the space. We have seen the trends that are going around into Arabian Doge. We have seen the people are coming back to Binance Smart Chain, and I'm telling you, it's just the start. So yeah. So so it's more so about just I, I completely understand, but it's just about I think you guys will just have to go in then and edit some of the text on the website just because the way yep. it comes across it says the contracts renounced on launch so if that's not the case that's what threw me off because you talk about additional plans and additional functions being added or being utilized as you grow the utility 
And obviously the contract control does somewhat needed to be in place for those to occur. Um, so yeah, just going into the website and simply making a quick change of that text, that for me was just really the one flag I had was we touch on additional things being added, but if a contract's renounced already, it's tougher to do that. So I'm just going onto the website and maybe making that change. Yeah, yes, we, we are be... going to update the website. That's correct. All right, perfect. Yeah, I just wanted to touch on that. So in case anybody else was wondering the same, um, and then kind of moving forward, looking at kind of the future of the project in kind of your ultimate vision towards phase four, how do you see future utility being added in? Because I know there's a lot of things you touched on in the future with your marketplace, with the staking, with the um, game development, app development stuff. So how do you see that benefit or sorry, how do you see kind of that growing into the ecosystem? And do you need or do you foresee the need to add a second token into the ecosystem for a utility purpose? Um, yeah, so moving on to to phase four. <clears throat> so on phase four, we are going to be launching the, the NFT marketplace. We are going to be launching the NFT staking. The 1,000 unique NFTs are going to be stakeable. People will be able to, to, to get uh, Arabian Doge or Doge. They could choose whatever they want. Um, as far as the app and game, game development that will be implemented sometime soon there will be updates on that um that is for 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 phase four uh, like i said we are going to open a, an office here in dubai that is just focused on arabian doge so we, we will be expanding our team this is not going to be treated as just a project it will be treated as an ecosystem it will it will be treated as a real company so i'm telling you that <clears throat> Once we will, once we able, once we are able to open this uh, this office, we will be expanding our team as well. Um, I'm not saying that we right now we don't have the capability to do that. The current team right now can achieve all of that. I'm just talking in terms of opening uh, a real office and maybe opening applications, uh, hiring people for jobs like people who are interested. We will take care of flying them out. We will take care of um, all of the expensive uh, expenses. We are going to give the chance to people. Uh, from all around the world to to join the Arabian Doge team to be able to work with this, uh, to be able to achieve our vision because, you know, we are not, I'm not really aiming uh, very low on this project. My aim is very high. My vision is very high. Like, I, I, I my, my mind just uh, uh, gets blown out when I keep thinking about it, you know. Awesome, man. So, I mean, I really like your responses to, to the questions. And I mean, it's at least you have an idea in, in place in terms of how you roll it out. Things things are bound to change. That's the thing with a project, right? When, you know, yes. when Shiba launched, they didn't have what they're planning now in place. When Doge launched, did they think they were going to at one point potentially be accepted as a currency in basketball stadiums and stuff for payments? So, you know, things change industry shift stuff yep, happens that's, so true. that's for it's sure it's kind of having a baseline in place that's most important some of the specifics and tangible things that come along and shift during a project's life cycle is understandable um and the fact that you built up a strong community who definitely seems to back the project is important so yeah like I, I don't want to, I don't need technical specifics, deadlines, dates in the future. Cause like I said, things grow with yeah. the project growth. I understand that. So maybe for me, what I'll do is we've covered off a lot of the key what's now what's upcoming. And then maybe the next month or two, you've touched on a lot of the future marketing. You've touched on some of your connections, some of the partnerships you're looking to engage on. Obviously, yep. Dubai, pretty crypto centric. You know, there's a lot of yeah. conferences. I know you have a background in blockchain development yourself, um, just in your own line of work. So, yeah, like it's there's a lot of things you guys are doing that are obviously being recognized and being supported by holders and by people across the space. So continue to keep it up and continue to deliver and, and touch on those milestones. And I think people will really obviously be able to get behind. That's the same with any project, but early stages great work so far on the, the development of this 
And obviously, guys, like anything else, we're going to open, I think, the community questions up right now. I think it's a perfect time to start mixing our community and, and with yours and, and get some questions in, guys. So I know we got a lot of participants in here. If you guys have been holding off on questions, you can go ahead and get your hands up. I know we're obviously not going to be able to take everybody here tonight. But, yeah, uh, we have, let's take a couple. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, by the end, we'll probably end up having 40 hands up or something like that. But um yeah, I'm excited, man. Uh, thank you very much for the presentation. And why don't we transition this over to the community for some questions? So we'll get here starting out with Crypto Dave. You know, he's already representing. So why don't we have a community member or a holder kickstart things off and then we'll transition to one of our communities. We'll go, we'll go one and one. Let's do it. Let's do it. What's up, Mr. Crypto Dave? I will get a backup hand in because I know sometimes we get issues with some mic drops. So we'll get Crypto Dave and we'll also get, uh, let's see, Melly Biro. I just want to tell the uh, creator of this coin, man, thank you. I appreciate you. And I'm standing here strong with you. This is a diamond hand community. And I recommend everybody here. This is early, guys. I mean, we just got to hold. It's like Shiba. It's like Doge. Let's do this. All right. Thank you very much, Crypto Dave. Love the love the attitude, brother. So we'll get uh, Melly up here next. Go ahead, Mel. Hi, good evening, everybody. Um, one question: uh, When do you plan to start with those normal influencers in Dubai? Um, so, about the what do you mean by normal? You mean this, I mean non crypto ones. Or what? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, the non the non crypto ones. Yeah. yeah. So, like I said the, to the community, uh, once we we have a utility to present, for for example, the NFTs which are going to be launched probably this weekend, or we're going to set a date for that. Once we have something to present, once we have a utility to pr to present, instead of uh, you know just the passive income, instead of uh, just in terms of it being a meme token. So once we have something pr uh, to present, uh, the, these uh, these marketing are going to get pushed in the the, the Dubai mar Dubai marketing the influencers because you know how it's um, pretty much uh, they are sensitive to to these kind of things uh, as 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 a legal way here in Dubai. So there has to be something in order for for uh, for this to be to be done. So that's why I keep telling the community that it's really just early, and uh, you know, even even without the utilities, the brand itself is, is, can take this to to millions of market cap. So, you know, we it's 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 all going all going to to connect. Uh, may I ask him, uh, one more question? Yep. Okay. So. Um, and I know it's easier in Dubai to get a bank account also for crypto companies. Uh, are you perhaps planning also an app uh, where normal people can buy Arabian Doji directly with their, their credit cards? Because it's easier really to set, it, set this up in Dubai. Uh, yes, we, we, we actually had to have that uh, idea in mind. We, we are still researching it. Uh, we haven't done anything yet uh, regarding that matter, but uh, I, I am clearly aware of it, and I know I know the rules and regulations towards it. Uh, but like I said, I think it's still early to do su such thing. Uh, you know, I, I kind of want to 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 do this in phases. I don't want to rush things out. I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to rush things out. I want to 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 preserve the space that we are we are moving on. You know, but. Of course, that's uh, that's 100% achievable. That could be something. There also could be Arabian Doge credit cards. There could be a lot of things. But you know, I, I like to do these things in 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 phases. But I like your question. It, uh, it also reminded me reminded me of that thing. Thank you. No, yeah, you know why I'm asking this because uh, I know many normal people. I mean, you know, crypt, uh, people they never had to do anything with crypto before. And they are interested in crypto, but explain them pancake swap or poo coin or uh, all this stuff. It's too complicated for them. So what many of them are doing, uh, just installing a Revolut app 
at buying the cryptos, the few ones Revolut is offering, uh, because at least they have some crypto and I am helping friends almost every day, you know, like setting their MetaMask up and because they know I, I'm doing in crypto and it's really so tiring. So I really wish finally a project which I can suggest to people to buy, which has an app, you know, where people can buy it. And if you are from Dubai, I know it's much easier, you know, to set up a bank account, offer later also like uh, Arabian Dodgy credit card, people would love it. So, and one last sentence, and I let time for other questions from other members. Uh, I'm coming from biotech, and we learn that mostly, most, most more important is to invest in the management than in the project in sense. And uh, I was just bored, so I was listening. <laughs> nothing in the in the television, so I was listening uh, to your AMA. And you are so convincing guy. I, I, I think you can convince everybody. You can convince all the all the influencers to post uh, about Arabian Doji. So I bought now for 2BMB. So I really wish you luck and um, wish all the best for the project and move on like this. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your words. I really appreciate what you said. And you do have a very strong point uh, and i thank you for reminding me on that thank you very much don't don't forget this please it's it's really more important than all of us crypto people would think about it people That's would true. like That's to true. buy crypto but let us make them easy to buy it that, that's a really strong point uh, i appreciate that from you we will we will be doing our research and work on, on that uh, but to, to add on that as well uh, we are not only going to be going to be available on PancakeSwap. We are going to be listed on other exchanges. You know, uh, it's like a, it's like a food chain. You know, you need to go from one one level to another. So I think with time, gradually, we we, we should be available uh, in many many more places other than uh, PancakeSwap. Uh, anyways, thank you for your question. Thanks so much, Melly. Great questions too. And really nice to know you, you got a background in that biotech. So um, let's go. Oh, we haven't seen him out here for a while. Oh, where'd he go? He's going to call out Crypto Bull because it's been so long since I've seen him out. I had to get him in for a question, but his hand went down. Uh, we'll maybe try the old D-Gen Hunter here. What's going on, D-Gen? Um, so if he if he if he doesn't uh, talk, I realize there are a few um, Arabian names here. I'm I am actually interested to hear what they are going to say. So if you could, yeah, uh, of course. So I got uh, Dgen and Bull up, and then after that, I'll get uh, a couple different uh, Arabian speakers in here, maybe, and get some questions in from uh, some people from Dubai. So we got Colex. I see him in there. Uh, definitely Arabian. Uh, tagline so i'll get colex's hand unmuted as well for a future question perfect so bull if you want to go ahead it looks like you're up first and then we'll go colex with the second question hey uh how's it going today maurice good man it's been a while i uh, yeah, just yeah. saw your saw your hand up when i was looking and i was like oh gotta get him in hey i appreciate it man i hope you're doing good uh awesome ama here and uh I just want to say uh, this project honestly uh, looks pretty uh, pretty damn good, man. So you've done a great job explaining it. Uh, really, I just want to ask you, you were talking about the NFTs and how you might be able to scan them going into places in Dubai. Um, are you considering trying to broaden that out to other countries or other companies or products or uh, not products, yes. but other areas? Yes, yes. I have mentioned that earlier that... Uh, I don't want people to think that it is just uh, going to be limited in Dubai or, or in Arabian countries. This, this is just going to be the start in Dubai. We, you know, the team, the whole team is not based in Dubai. We have people in the United Kingdom. We have people in the United States. We have people in Europe. So, yes, it's not just going to be in Dubai. It's just the start in Dubai. We will be uh, expanding around the world. We, we will be connecting with partnerships, with sp sponsorships, with uh, with the with the tech people who who, who will have uh, uh, the the roadmap uh, for us to 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 deliver to deliver such things, so that's, it's not just uh, Dubai. 
That's great. And I'll tell you, I heard you say that you might get some kind of mention from the government. If you do that, I will uh, take the ride with you to a billion, man. I wish you luck with what you got going on. And uh, hope you guys yeah, are great. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Bull. Great to hear from you, man. So we'll get uh, hopefully Colex. Colex, hopefully your mic's okay to pop on there. Let's go, Colex. He's been Hello. raising his uh, hands forever. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Hello, hey, I'm cool. doing fine. How's it going? Um, my question is, are you guys planning to list on the exchange, like old bit or good coin? Yes, we, we we have already listed on coins bit like three days into lunch, but uh, I have already finished a couple of deals with the, with, with the exchanges. Uh, but like I said, I don't want to do it yet. Um, I want at least a few utilities to be delivered before start starting to move on the chain with, with the exchanges. But yeah, we, we we will be listing on many other exchanges. Oh, that's good. And another question is, uh, how can we be sure we are not a liquidity provider to you guys? What? How can we be sure that we are not, as in we investors are not a liquidity provider to you guys, to your community? As in, is there any audit? Is there any? Yes, any... yes, yes. like I have said, uh, there is an audit. Um, I am KYC to multiple platforms. Uh, I am KYC to, to Traveler, to Pink Sale, to Phoenix Holdings. Um, uh, I'm, I'm actually going to meet a couple of influencers who are known in the TD as well in Dubai because I know that they are in Dubai, for example, Travelat is in Dubai. We have been talking, we are going to meet very soon. Um, you know, the, like I mentioned, the, 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 the local authority here, the government, the, uh, the, Dubai, the Dubai government, they are not lightly with such things. So they take, they will take the, such things seriously. So if, there's any shady things going on everyone will know because you know my identity is on the line here and once these nft uh, utilities are going to be rolling out uh, i will also be doxed because that is uh, that is uh, something that i am obliged to to, to do so i'm not going be, to be doxing yet uh, but when, when when these things roll, roll out it's going to be automatically that i have to 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 dox so uh, in terms of safety i think uh, People should be assured that, that uh, all of the investors, we don't see you guys as a liquidity. I don't care about the chart. I care about the, the utilities to deliver this. This is my passion. This is not just about making money. I already have a lot of money. Thank you. That was my question. Thank you, Maui. Of course, you. Cole. Great, uh, great to hear, hear from you, man. I think I've seen you out in one or two before. It's, it's great to hear from you, dude. So we'll get uh, DGen Hunter if you still want to get your question in, as well as see a few others still have their hands off mute from before. Um, Mohammed 0 el as well as Dave. So if you guys uh, have any questions, you're already off mute. Don't hesitate to, to throw them in. Um, but right now, for the time being, we will get Moha11 and roller girl in here for a question uh, can, can we get this uh, guy uh, as well next uh, his name is ah ah ahmed al mahdi he's been raising yeah, sure. his for a long time yeah ahmed's uh, one of our typical he's out here he's got some good questions i, t I was trying to get some newer question asters in but i'll i'll throw his hand right, off no as well for future what's up zero hello guys hey how's hello. your day going Hey, good. Thank you. Congratulations on this uh, amazing project, man. I can see. Um, I understand. I'm also Arabic originally, and um, and I can understand the culture there and the hype around um, uh, new legit tokens um, in Dubai and in the um, in the Gulf side. Um, I hope and 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 I can see the the amount of followers the influencers there have. Uh, from all around the world, like for example, one of the biggest is Rashid Belhasa and uh, uh, and these guys. I hope you collaborate with all of them, and I'm, I'm pretty sure um, this will hit uh, all time highs. I just wanted to congratulate you. This is one of the most legit projects I've seen, and I'm gonna be heavily invested in it. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. I really appreciate your words, your kind words. Uh, 
it's, it just boosts boost my morale, it just boosts my motivation. And the names you have mentioned, I do, I, I, I do have contacts uh, with them, I can reach them. Uh, I can also reach, uh, if you guys know more vlogs, uh, I, know, I know this uh, circle, uh, they are not really far away, but I don't think it's ready yet to introduce uh, this to them. But uh, thank you for your kind words and uh, thank for you. your you've got some You've got something there, man. Keep going. Thank you, man, for sure. Perfect. Thanks so much, Zero. It's great to hear from you, dude. And love the positivity. Love to get to learn a little bit more about uh, some of our community members' backgrounds as well. So, uh, Roller Girl, if you want to throw your question in, definitely go ahead. Thanks. Hey, I just wanted to say that this sounds like a really awesome project and I'm definitely going to be buying some as soon as this AMA is over. And I've been to Dubai a few times, so I know how serious uh, people there take crime. So I'm totally 100% certain that this will not be a scam or a rug pull or a honeypot. Um, my question is, do you know what compiler version the contract was built on? Um, yes, but I'm, I'm wondering why, why you want to know this answer? Um, because the higher the uh, contract, the newer the contract, the more secure the contract is from breaches. I think in terms of the contract, the contract is, is, is very safe. There, there won't be any breaches in the contract. And uh, as far as the information about the, the compiler you're asking, I don't think I should uh, answer, answer that. So you should understand. Okay, just that's pretty reasons, common. Just like you said. Yeah, but that's a pretty common question that is asked. But if you don't want to ask, that's okay. Or answer, that's okay. I can respect that. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay. No problem. Best of luck. Thank you very much. And thank you for your trust. Yes, for sure. I'm definitely going to still be buying a bag. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, Roller Girl. Great <laughs> okay. Thanks. So we got thank here you. up next. Uh, who was it? Ahmed Al Mahdi. Go ahead, Ahmed. Hey, Marie, thanks for having me on again. Uh, We're hey, good. Mike's working today, so that's nice to see. Yeah, it's, it's working pretty good this time. Uh, I got a couple of questions for you, man. First of all, where in the Middle East are you from? Are you like originally from Dubai? Uh, yes, I'm a local from Dubai. Oh, I'm a, I'm a Middle Eastern as well. I'm from Bahrain, so we're pretty much neighbors, by the way. Uh, anyway, that's great, man. Nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, Mike. Likewise. We Mike we know good. now that uh, Dubai and uh, Bahrain are are the. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go on. Go on. Come here. Finish what you had to say. No, I was just going to say that how uh, uh, Dubai and Bahrain are now uh, trying to embrace crypto a lot, and that is really positive for all of us. Yeah, yeah, that's true. There are a lot of mining companies in Bahrain right now. Anyway, um, my question is, you're like the second crypt Arab crypto project that I've seen, like that's run by actual Arabs. The previous one had like a massive fail. I don't know if you heard about it. it was what was it? it was Hazim? I no, it didn't. Then, by Muhammad Al Arab, it 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 crashed a lot. Like it went from 0.6 to I don't know how many zeros after that now. So, how would you deal to counter counteract things like that? Because, as you know, in, in the the Arab community hasn't embraced crypto yet, and a lot of people need to be educated about educated about that stuff. So, do you have any plans on spreading the knowledge and? What are you gonna what are you gonna do about that? Uh, yes, actually we, we, we have a lot of uh, plans to spread the knowledge yeah. because uh, I don't know if you were here earlier when I was talking about the newspaper and how when they talked about Doge and everybody everybody in the country literally went crazy. They were, they were asking what is Doge? How do I get Doge? How do, do I buy Doge? I think this is one of the factors that plays that introduces people who don't know about crypto into crypto. So this thing has already started. It, it helped to open already 
uh, many eyes here in, in, in the Middle East, in Dubai, and, uh, into crypto. So I think um, you said, what did you say? Uh, something, you faced something. What did you say? Like, how, how are you going to face the yeah, downfall? How, how are you going to educate them? Because most of them, see, the thing you said now is most of them will FOMO in, like unknowing, unknowing about any of the risks. They'll just FOMO in without any consideration to that they might lose their money. So how would you do? How would you deal yeah. with that? I I think in in that aspect it is uh, it is really up to 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 the investor to his research to his knowledge. Uh, like I said, when these Snapchat influencers that they are going to once they are, they they are going to talk about it, they're not they they're not like. Uh, uh, the the normal inf influencers who just post uh, about something and just goes on no they they also realize how 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 legal effective it is so when they are going to talk about it they are going to explain it step by step they are going to say the risks they are going to say they are going to provide all this information i think this this uh, uh, aids in, uh, in 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 what you said about uh, facing the downfall of people do not knowing the risks um as well as like with with time with time with days go, goes on and come back people people starting to realize more about crypto starting to learn about crypto um you know your, your question is actually actually very very good and uh, intelligent um you just gave me another idea to maybe do some sort of learning crypto like uh, opening another uh, v uh, club or venue about uh, uh, people to learn about crypto there, I think there, there is a lot of uh, options uh, to combat that, you know? Yeah, like especially with the language barrier because, you, you know, not many Arabs are that fluent in English. So you you could reach out to them much easier. Yes. And that will be a great great thing for your project as well because you'll be the, the one teaching them. So they'll have a lot of trust in you. Wish you the best of luck, man. Yes, that. Thanks, Maurice, for having Thank me Thank you, again. man. Um, uh, yeah. Hey boys, how's it going? I was just stuck off mute. What's up, DJ? Go ahead. Hey, hey, hey. What's up? Uh, so first of all, congratulations on, on an amazing project and an amazing launch. And I'm, I'm from Tunisia, so uh, I'm a native Arabic as well. So it's pretty overwhelming like to see an, uh, an Arabic community like such succeed in such an amazing project. So my point is pretty well connected with Melly's question. So I heard like you, you are talking about uh, non-crypto influencers and you know, we'll be targeting like some Snapchat influencers who have like uh, 1 million views and all of that. Like, uh, have you thought about uh, getting listing in exchanges where, where you can buy like uh, BSC tokens to credit cards? Like there is some platforms like uh, I know one which is Fluid. Like, yes, uh, you can buy with uh, with your directly. Yeah, with yes, your you mean by fiat? Y yes. Sorry. Yes, we will. We will be. Yeah, we will be a partner uh, partnering with, soon with a company that will allow people to to buy Arabian Doge using their credit cards using USD uh, using fiat in general. So yes, that that yeah, uh, that will happen sense. as well. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's like the the most important thing, like to go mainstream, like to to go like Shiba and and those and all of that. So that uh, that was that was my other question. And good luck, like uh, for for the project. Like it seems like pretty bullish. And uh, and yeah, so good luck. Great to great to hear from you, again, DJ. Thank you. So we got up here. Oh, we haven't heard from haven't heard from T Rex in a while. We'll get T Rex in, and then maybe we'll try DC. Afterwards, we got Mr. Crypto Hunter too in town. Haven't seen him in a while. What's up, Rex? Rex, are you there? Rex, are you there? Mm, no one, Rex. Okay, DC, go. 
All right, man. Uh, yeah, guys. So Project is doing super well so far right now. You know, and you said a lot of things that hype the project up and talk about big YouTubers and different things like that. Uh, right now, man, we're in certain types of market conditions where last year, where we were in similar market conditions that were just like this, um, there was one project over the summer. It was it was Baby Cake and Baby Doge that really popped off and were hitting big, but they all immediately dumped very strongly. Cake is down, and Doge still has a pretty uh, baby Doge still has a pretty strong community, man. So what I'm trying to figure out is, I haven't really heard you mention anything of how strong your team is and how your team has a big heavy background and whatnot, man. So. How are you going to make this project run? Because I'm telling you that we're, we're not done dropping in terms of BTC. We haven't seen the worst yet. The fact that we went a little bit above the support band and then we, we couldn't even hold it. We fell straight through. And the last time we made an all-time high, the very next month afterwards, we dropped like over 40%. We just don't have strength now. We're not going to get that strength until we go even lower and accumulate down in the low 30s, possible 28s, 29s. So how are you going to help this to weather the storm, man, and not just be a puppet dog? Yeah, I, I, I understand your point. I understand what you're saying. Uh, in regards of the market, this is nothing we, we, we can do or, or, or control. Um, so regarding the team, I think right now we have a very experienced team. We can we can nail the whole ro uh, roadmap without even uh, uh, hiring anyone else. Uh, the team is mixed. We have, we have uh, individuals uh, from all around the world, from Europe, from uh, um united kingdom from united states as well as to back things up like i said we will be opening uh, an office here in dubai and we will be expanding our team to 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 hire more people possibly to to offer jobs to other people to maybe fly them out uh, you know and provide a job for for such people so i think th there's not much worry about the team right now um uh, in terms of development, in, term, in terms of delivering the, those utilities, they are all achievable. There, there's no need to hire any more. Uh, but in order to grow this ecosystem, I think it is uh, crucial for us to expand our team. So that's that's uh, the next plan once we open the office in, in, in Dubai, hopefully. All right, Maurice, I'm done. Damn. Thank you, sir. All right, T Rex, we'll go to you next. Go ahead, T. Hey, hey, Maurice, what's up? How much, man? How, how's your week been so far? Yeah, good, good. I I was kicked out there that time, so. I love it. Yeah, no, but yeah, this I'm is just... maybe second or third time we've gotten you off mute. So thanks for coming back out. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, just a quick question here. Yeah. So, um, seeing that you are from Saudi Arabia, yeah, and um, crypto over there. No, I'm not from Saudi Arabia. Yeah, you're yeah, from Dubai, rather. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, and the crypto community over there is is booming, so to say, right? So I can kind of yeah. deduce that most of your physical marketing might be focused over there, right? So yeah. Um, yeah, I just wanted to ask. So say um there are stricter restrictions over there concerning crypto and all. What are your what are your backup plans to for marketing and all? Um I didn't really understand your questions. Uh what are you talking about? About the, the marketing plans or what? Yeah, I'm saying the because of how good the crypto community and stuff is over there where you are, the yes, definitely your physical marketing would most likely be focused over there, right? Yes. So I'm saying, um, 
say we don't have he's asking the... about how you guys plan to do like real world marketing outside of like exactly. the UAE and stuff like that so in like the United States yeah, and Canada and, and stuff like that outside of like uh, yeah yeah the United Arab Emirates to bring in individuals who are now yeah. more used to crypto like UK Australia Canada US or some of the more comfortable markets for trading so yeah. how are you going to push that real world marketing in those markets i think that's what t-rex was asking right t yeah thanks man thanks man of course dude yeah okay so uh, i just want to clarify something uh if, if the name is arabian doge it, it, it doesn't mean it's just for for arabs or it's, it doesn't mean it's only going to be marketed uh, you know, in, in, in Dubai or, 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 or United Emirates, because as you see how the project started, it was never marketed into, in Dubai. It was marketed worldwide. We have investors from all around the world. We, we also have uh, a lot of marketing plans that's going to involve everywhere, every indiv individual in, in, in the whole world. So like I said, we have uh, many big YouTubers uh, uh, who are going to post about about us they are from the West, from the United States, United Kingdom. Uh, we have a lot of Twitter influencers who are going to back us up. Um, we are going to spread out billboards all around, around the world. So it's, it's not just uh, uh, focused on Dubai. I, I, I don't want people to think that we are just focusing on Dubai or, or the Middle East. Dubai, the Dubai and Middle East is just an advantage. We are going to take an advantage of the current market on how crypto is booming in such places. It is not strictly just for Arabs or, or the Middle Eastern. We are only going to take advantage of this boom. We have not forgotten the whole world. We, we are going to be marketing ev everywhere. We are going to be targeting the United States. We are going to be targeting the Chinese market. We are going to be targeting the Euro European market. So like I said, uh, about all this uh, like uh, marketing in Dubai, it's, 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 it's not... It's not but our only focus, we haven't forget about anything. We're just going to take the advantage of crypto bo booming in such places. I hope I answered your question. Yeah, yeah, man, you did. Thanks. Thank you. Good one, good one. Success, man. Thank you, brother. Thanks, Maurice. <clears throat> Thanks so much, Rex. Great to hear from you, dude. Uh, so we got uh, Matush. We'll get Matush in here for a question. Maybe one more after that, uh, and then we'll. I know it's uh, obviously late for you over there, and I know uh, it's probably been a long day with Ramadan and everything. So, yep. <laughs> don't want to keep you here too late because I know you're probably super drained. <laughs> I understand. I went to uh, two of my, yeah. three of my units yeah. in, in university, like all followed Ramadan. Like from, there are different countries, but obviously all Muslim belief and uh our exam period was during ramadan so i always had to watch these guys fast while they were trying to do two a day exams and stuff and it was pretty it was extremely impressive what what they were oh, to do. The, the regular person like if i didn't you know live with and get to experience the culture kind of through them i would have never understood what they actually have to go through during that time to live a typical and you know be a student and it, it's really tough man so I know as a project owner, it's not easy to put in those hours when your, your body's tired, you're low on food, low on energy. So obviously big respect to being able to grow this through such a busy time. Thank you. Thank you, man. Actually, I, I really appreciate the words uh, you are saying. You, 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 clearly, you clearly know how things uh, go around here as well. So once again, yeah, I, I, I really appreciate that. And it, uh, honestly, talking about uh, rest, you know, when something is, when you treat something as your passion, when you treat something as this is uh, like your work, your job, uh, everything you do, sometimes you you overcome those those uh, drained mo drained moments, those tired moments. So, I think I have I have that uh, that boost from the com community, from the environment to just keep me pushing. So, I think that that that's re really help helpful as well. But yeah, I, I really appreciate. Uh, the things you said that's amazing actually and listen I, I grew up in like a very very small town in canada with not much diversity and i got to get a lot of exposure when i went to university and i was somebody who embraced the, the different cultures and getting to learn about it so i understand the struggle so like the, obviously there's a under 
underlying respect to the fact that you've been able to grow such a successful project in, in a busy, busy time for, for you. And not only that, but obviously just the Arabian community as a whole too. It's just very, it's busy right now. So. Thank uh, you, man. Thank you very much. So we'll get, like I said, I appreciate you. Ed, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, OP. Yeah, no, no problem. I was going to say that I appreciate you for uh, holding this uh, AME as well. So uh, we, we're also honored uh, to, to, to be here. So we, we, we appreciate that. Well, yeah, I mean, I know you guys have been active in the space. You've been featured on a lot of the, I know you and Caesar have even been in touch for quite some time. So I know you even told me you were hoping to get this uh, set up yesterday or the day before. Yeah. <laughs> but the channel is a little bit busy and I didn't even know I would have probably made an exception and gotten you guys on last night because I ended up having um, one cancel. So I got an early night, but I ended, up, I ended up literally falling asleep on the couch at like, I don't know, six or seven o'clock and woke up at 5 a.m. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Been a lot of sleepless nights. Or sleepless <laughs> no, no, nights it's too. Too, so. um, Let's go, Matouche. So, Matouche, I got you ready. Your hand is unmuted on the channel. Just got to flip that mic on and you can go ahead. If not, we will. Yeah, how's it going? Hey, there we go. What's up, Matouche? Not much, man. Honestly, I didn't even have a question. I just want to say what's up. Oh, nice. <laughs> Yeah, man. Hope you do. You good? Yeah, you too, dude. You too. Love, uh, love the community popping on just to say hey from time to time. So we will get uh, who we yes, got. Yes, sir. We got a few other ones here. Paul. Haven't heard from Paul in a few days. Let's get Paul in here. Paul and Greek. Um, you know what? We haven't heard from Ali in a while. Mr. Ali Black. Go ahead, man. It's been a while since we've heard from Ali. Oh, we're waiting. I do have a question here from Timu. Uh, he said earlier, you mentioned you would have a partner with one of the a, a big Saudi businessmen. Um, how will you guys plan to do marketing in Saudi, Qatar, Kuwait, considering cryptocurrency isn't technically allowed in those states? They call it haram, which means forbidden, uh, as it's considering a form of gambling. So he was just curious to address that. Um, so actually, to respond to that, uh... Actually, everything he said was was is like uh, uh, the, the news of one year ago. You know, now they are slightly starting to 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 be more open towards the, uh, the these uh, things. Even in Saudi Arabia, they are starting to slowly, you know, trying to uh, adapt to the to the trend, like uh, to adapt to everything that's happening. They're they're trying to be opened up a bit, so. In terms of uh, the Saudi, the Qatar, and all these countries, like the people of those countries, they have the, the, the freedom to, to invest or not. But as far as making stuff legal there, we we can't interfere with that uh, right now. We, we, we are working with what we have. We are taking the advantage of the other Gulf countries who are, who, who are embracing uh, such things. So right now, if, if, you know, like he said, um, uh, they they consider it uh, haram or, or or however they do. Uh, it's not really up to us. Like we can do anything, but there is something positive in this that they are starting to be opened up to such things. So uh, whatever he said, I think it is like in the in, in, in around one year ago. But now in 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 2022, and you know, Saudi is really being uh, uh, much opened up uh, the, the, these days. Uh, so I think. Uh, they're slowly going to start adapt these these things, and Arabian Doge is, is, is staying here. It's not a, a few days project, a few uh, a month or two project. It's staying here for a long time, as long as the community is here, as long as we deliver, it's going to be here. So, if Saudi Arabia the end of end of the year they announce that uh, it's eligible, then we are going to target them, of course. But 
if they don't allow that, we are not going to inter interfere. As regarding as the individual investors in Saudi and Qatar and everywhere, they have the freedom to invest or not. So it's really up to the investor. We we, we really don't have any decision uh, decision in that. That that also comes that uh, we are not mainly focusing on on, on uh, Arab countries or or Gulf. Like I said, this token is for everyone. We we will be hitting and uh, showing an impact in. All of the all 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 of the countries in the world, uh, United States, the United Kingdom, like I said, the Europe, everywhere. We are not going to just be focusing on one specific region. So I don't think this will interfere with us or with our work uh, at all. Okay, hello. Hey, what's up, Paul? Yeah, good evening, Maurice. Good evening. Yeah. Um, sorry, I, well, I, I wasn't part of the AMA from the beginning, so I don't know if this question has been raised and answered before, but, um, no um you know, yes, yeah, I can see from the chat that this um, particular token has a lot of hype and all that. What's your plan to maintain the hype, you know? You know, we've seen some projects that, you know, with great hype and all that, you know, when they get to like 20, 30 million market cap, you know, you, you will see that it's very difficult for them to keep you know, to keep um, the momentum and they will start coming down. So what's the plan to, you know, to keep the hype moving, you know? Just like someone said, you know, the person, uh, person uh, made an, an example of a um, baby cake. Was it baby cake last year? Yes. And you can see that baby cake is nowhere to be found now. But, well, baby dodge is still doing all right. So what's the plan, you know, so that this will be like a repeat of baby cake? Good question. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? The, 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 yep. Well, I'm cool. Do you need me to repeat the question, OP? Or did you catch it? Uh, no, no, no. I, I got his question. I'm going to answer it. Um, so in regards of, of the hype and what you were talking about, um, the first point is uh, I think the community is important in keeping the hype. And as far as I can see, we have a really, really strong community. So. Uh, I'm sure they, they, they will keep on doing their part. They will keep on spreading the news about Arabian Doge. And like you know, in, in, in a few days, we will be launching our 3D unique high-quality NFTs. Each one will be unique, 1,000. Uh, they will give access to, to the Arabian Ventures Club. When people are going to get access into that club, they, they will be able to invest in a lot of top-notch projects uh, in, in uh, private sales, seed sales. So as long as this is going on, this is moving on, this is going to keep the hype. This is not only going to keep the hype, this is going to keep building the hype because once the people are going to talk about, oh, have you heard about Arabian Ventures? Yeah, I invested in Solana or whatever in private sale. I made 100x. This will keep moving the hype. And um, once we also hit, uh, more, uh, we clear up more phases, uh, you know, once we start uh, actually doing the real life NFTs, this will also create a massive hype. This will keep the hype going. Um, as long as the, the brand is living, as long as the real Doge uh, uh, is still in the market and, you know, it's still having its its own floor, it's uh, not really that bad. That's also going to keep the hype. You know, there's, there's a lot of, um, how do I say it? Um, there, there, there's a lot of uh, things that, that have a play in this role in keeping the hype, you know, because that's why exactly why I chose uh, this brand, this name, uh, because how it can spread like fire, how how it can hype. You know, some coins they actually market themselves, and I I, I see Arabian Doge as a as a token that markets itself. So these NFTs, these utilities, these things that we are going to add, it's only going to add to 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 the hype. It's going going to increase uh, the hype. Because as you know, as, as I spoke about all the marketing plans, everything that's coming in the upcoming days, all of it are, are going to keep up the hype. The hype is, you know, <clears throat> the hype is, is, is uh, like when, when we release those NFTs, when they will be treated as a blue chip NFTs, when people will know about these NFTs, when people will know what do these NFTs give you that will also co contribute in the hype of the token. Um, like I said, the, the Ventures Club, the marketplace, we are aiming to be the open sea of Binance Smart Chain where people will be able to list their own NFTs and sell them, sell their collection, buy and trade. There will be option to buy and trade with A Doge, with BNB, 
So all, all, all of these are, are, are huge factors to, to contribute in the hype. And as long as the community is strong and hold it together like this, and as long as we are going to be delivering, I think the hype will continue to, to, to grow. And uh, we haven't even seen any hype. I don't, I don't see this as a hype still. We, we are in early stages, brother. All right, thank you. So, um, sorry, another question. Uh, to, to mint um, these NFTs you're talking about, do you have to owe them Arabian Dodge? No, you will be you will you will you will you have to mint it. Uh, you have to purchase it. Not not using Arabian Doge, but we have we have a lot of plans to implement the Arabian Doge tokens. Uh, like I said, for example, uh, when people are going to list and sell buy their NFTs, people could pay could pay with Arabian Doge, and the, uh, the Arabian Doge there's a certain percentage that's going to get burned from the transaction. Um, uh, the Arabian Doge, like uh, at some point, we might add people if they want if the NFTs are sold out and maybe people want to 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 join the venture club. It's growing, it's booming. We we if we want to grow the community, we could allow people to pay in Arabian Doge, and the whole tokens are going to get burned in order to access this. I think with time and with with the ecosystem growing, there 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 are going to be a lot of uh, a lot of options uh, for us to to do. All right, thank you. Um, because you know, if um, the token itself has a lot of utilities, I believe that a lot of people will want to hold it. You know, if they have to go to the club or maybe there's a discount for using the club, you know, and yeah, um, if you're, if you're of sorry, the I'm going to, to I'm going to interrupt you for a second. Uh, we will be launching our own merch store, and you will be able to buy uh, in the merch store using Arabian Doge tokens. So that's that's also another uh, factor I haven't mentioned. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. You have a very good project, so thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Perfect. Hey, Maurice. Hey, what's up? We'll get you in here for the last question, and uh, then we'll wrap up. That's cool. All right, thank you very much, Maurice. Okay, so um, I think this was a, this is a similar question to what I asked, um, you know, in the previous AME. And, um, I used <laughs> Can you hear me? Go I said on, I think on. you might ask a, ask a similar question. That's why I wanted to get you in because it's going to be relevant, I think, to this one too. Yes, 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 yes. So basically, yeah, what, what I talked about was um was a litigation issue with um someone that was using um you know uh um brand names um you know Copyright. It was literally a copyright issue with the with the Dodge Foundation, and um, you know they were suing an influencer for using some of the intellectual properties. You know the name, the uh, the logo, um, you know the picture of the dog and stuff like that. So, and then seeing you now, you know using Arabian Doge, clearly when you know Arabi Arabian Doge blows up to the point where. Um, you know, it catches the attention of the Doge Foundation. They are clearly going to, you know, come for you. And um, the fact that you're still in DeFi, you've not um, been listed, you've not got into, you know, some tier one exchanges, I think you might still be safe. But I feel this might affect you getting listed on some six, some centralized exchanges because um, I feel someone like Binance or KuCoin or, um, you know, whatever, might not want to, you know, put their hands or approve a project, you know, to come on their platform that might actually backfire or, you know, create um, streams of um, legal issues. So, um, you know, with this in mind, do you guys have, say, plans for, you know, this when it does come up, um, say, probably change the name or something like that? Um, yeah, your, actually, your question is very great, uh, but I honestly don't think this will will interfere because we are we are not uh, using like uh, the same brand. Like even uh, the 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 dog is the doggy here is different. Uh, it's different than uh, the real doge. The the name is different. The ticker is different. Uh, it's a, it's a meme token, and I think everyone is allowed to to. To, cre to create uh, something like this as long as it's not an original copy or something that is uh, 
Like for example, the do the Doge here is not he's not look, looking the same like uh, the real Doge. So I don't think this will be an issue. Before I started the project, I was asking a couple of people. I I was aware of that, and this won't be this won't be an issue. I don't see an issue uh, issue with that. Yes, I I understand you. Usually, people say um, it won't be an issue until um, you know the issue comes up, and you know it creates um, a big problem. It doesn't exactly have to be a serious issue. Um, like I said, it's Ted, not a serious you know, issue at all. Yeah, like we can we can see how Baby Doge managed to 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 go that far. So uh, I don't think it's it's really even relevant to 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 get mentioned because it's not it's very far from being anything uh, relevant to this. Like I know your question is great, but really I don't know if it's uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, I clearly understand you. Well, I, I think just a suggestion now, uh, you would probably need to like consider it, um, you know, with your team moving forward to things change. You know, it's the crypto space, you know, policies change and stuff like that. So, yeah, best of luck. Yes, thank you very much. We, we, we are also aware of the po policies that we, we update uh, ourselves regularly. We update with the team regularly. So, Thank you, thank you. That was actually a very intelligent question, but uh, it, it, it won't have any relevance to, to our project, or to, it won't cause any issues. That's it's not uh, it's not really a situation or something. But thank you for that question. So maybe we'll get uh, if it's okay. I did get somebody who's. DM me a few times. I guess I missed it. They were just really hoping to get a question in. Can you do one more? Yeah, man, no problem. Okay. Let's do it. Boru. Boru will get a question in for you. What's going on, Boru? Hey, Mr. Hey, Mr. Hi, yeah. hey man. What's so, going on? I, my question is uh, will you create a second contract for the NFT? NFTs. Yeah, of course, the NFTs is going to have a separate contract. No, for the um, Arabian Deutsch, um, for the NFT phase, you are you going to change the contract? A second um, version? May, I mean, no. Right now, there aren't any plans. But if there if there will be, we will announce it, and there will be a normal migration and uh, such. But right now, we. we I don't. I, I don't think we we will have to do do it anytime soon. Okay, but it's a, a chance. There is a chance you can do that. So, what about uh, Ethereum bridge? Are yeah, there gonna, is a possibility. Uh, a, are you going to create any Ethereum bridges? Uh, yes, we will be working on uh, bridges as well. So this so is one hundred percent going to be. Yeah. What? Keep going, please. So, no, no, it's 100%. What I didn't catch you. So, uh, there is 100% going to be Ethereum bridge, right? If we do a bridge, it's 100% going to be Ethereum, yes. But are it's not 100% that you're going to be uh, building a bridge? Um, uh, right now, no, we, we, we haven't uh, decided to do it, but I think. Uh, it's very likely that we will do it uh, at some time, at some point. And yeah. if we do it, it's going to be on Ethereum, yes. Um, and I think we already talked about that on the past AMAs. But I think, uh, like, are you, when, you, when you're going to uh, be doxing yourself, because I think that's a milestone for the project, actually. Yeah, I'm not going to be doxing myself uh, until I'm forced by the by the by the newspaper, by the NFT, real life NFT utilities, but I'm happy to meet anyone here in Dubai. If, if you want, you could come over as well. But I won't be okay. doxing uh, to the public right now. But as an investor, I, in my opinion, if you dox yourself, that will be a milestone. Yeah, I, I understand and uh, I acknowledge that as well. But it's not, uh, it's not an option right now. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thanks, Boru.
Great to hear from you, dude. Sorry, I was a little delayed getting your questions in. So, like I mentioned, I, I've already stolen you away for an hour and a half. So, thank you very much, Mr. OP, for giving us some extra time. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you very much as well. Uh, I'm thankful for all the questions and the cur curiosity, actually, that comes from people about Arabian Doge. Uh, I just want to say that our priority is that we are transparent for everything we have been doing and will be doing in the future with Arabian Doge. Uh, we, we have regular AMAs in, in, in our main group. Uh, people could ask me anything. Uh, yeah, thank you for having us, uh, Maurice. Yeah, of course. And I'll say like a couple of things, obviously, uh, just first glance, like I mentioned, just make sure the team jumps in and just update, updates that text on the website about the renouncement of the contract not being done yet, because I think that might scare some people off or have obviously those questions come in about the future of the project if it's already renounced. Yeah. So just make sure that text is shifted on your end. And then from a, a security, I guess, standpoint, I know uh, with any project guys still do your own research it's a great time like the community is really hyped there's no better time than right now to at least join the telegram ch channel and see how the thing things progress if you think it's really right now i know uh, mr op says he's not worried about the chart right now because he's focused on the vision in the long term but if you are more of a chart watcher and you think right now it's a, a bit of a high entry that's completely okay everybody has their own tolerance what you can do the lowest risk thing you can do is just join the Telegram channel and follow along, see those announcements drop, see the community, and get a feel off of that. That's right. So yeah, like what I what I said in terms of just the contract change on the website, that's going to drop a lot of questions from people in terms of how you can sustain it long term. And yeah, I think just in terms of obviously the contract itself, I'm not a contract wizard, so I'm not the most detailed on that. Uh, in terms of how it was built or if there would be another version needed, but obviously just keep the community involved, keep them up to date along the way, I think is the best way to go about that if anything does need to change. And yeah, um, yeah. I see you guys have done a good job in less than 10 days, but putting up close to 2,200 holders already, um, growing a good cap. I, I said it to somebody in the chat, like the project dipped at one point during the AMA to like, I don't know, 3.35 million and just like immediately got eaten back up to like over four again now. So yeah, uh, we, we are at all time high uh, as well. Yeah, definitely got a lot of eyes on you. So like people are kind of trying to wait for their entry and time it out, it, it seems like. So uh, obviously best of luck as you keep pushing it, but uh, definitely seems like there's a lot of interest. You guys had a lot of positivity. I think Buck said he checked in at the top. You guys were just over 400 people in here for attendance or right around it. So Buck was like, holy crap, what did I miss? <laughs> My coordinator who normally helps me run the AMAs is like, bro, what project did I miss? He's like, I peeked in. You guys were almost at 400 at one time. He's like, what the heck? Yeah, I'm amazed, man. So yeah, the community definitely came out in numbers. And obviously, best of luck as you continue to push it. But like I said, guys, if you think it's a little high right now, if you're still maybe a little bit hesitant, wanted to see how the community is, wanted to see, just join the Telegram. He's OP's very open, very transparent. He's worked with a lot of the bigger callers. Uh, he's open to kind of chatting to anybody, answering DMs. But uh, I know it's just been also a long day for you over there. You've been really busy. Project's been super hyped. And the community has been really pushing you guys to to keep delivering for them and you have so far so uh guys obviously still like anything do your own research but you did a, a good job in the presentation your community seems to really support you on this so a uh, great job in building that up thank you man thank you man i really appreciate you as well and uh, every, all the listeners and the community as well thank you for your time perfect so i will get that recording stopped